In this video, I'm going to be ranking the best albums of all time based on their album art. All right, there's quite a bit of these, so I'll try not to spend too much time on each of them, but we're starting out with an absolute banger, the legendary Nico Velvet Underground album, Andy Warhol. This is probably one of the most famous album arts of all time, and even if you don't necessarily like it, you cannot undermine its just like presence in the world. I know we're starting out early, but I feel like I have to put this in the S tier and set up some kind of precedent. Abbey Road. I think this is also like a really good album and I, I feel like some of these are maybe front loaded with the best albums of all time, not just the music. So there's some in here that are gonna be good and bad, but the Beatles members walking and how it's like super symmetrical reminds me of some kind of Wes Anderson movie or something. And normally I like typography and stuff on my albums, but this one is so good. I think I might have to put this one in the S tier also. Next up is Patti Smith Horses and honestly the typography is pretty simple. It's nice and clean, but the photo is kind of average. It's not my favorite composition. I think they could have done a lot more with it. Maybe framed it a little bit differently. So I'm going to put it in the C tier. It's not awful, but definitely not one of my favorites. Biggie Smalls Ready to Die. This one's classic. I mean, I've always loved the Biggie Smalls like little baby in the middle. The typography is definitely a little weird. Looking at it closely right now, I never noticed the how spread out the text was at the bottom and then goes from that sans serif to serif. It is a little bit weird and the spacing is super bad between the the and the notorious and then the S and the big. So there's a, definitely some typography issues. So we'll have to knock it down a little bit, but in terms of like just how classic it is and how cool the little photo is, for now I'm gonna put it in the A tier. This next one's a Led Zeppelin. I think it's just Zeppelin 1, like self-titled. It kind of looks like some album you'd see someone make now with like a threshold effect or something like that. I think it's pretty cool, but the blimp kind of on fire or whatever and the typography, it gets a lot lost in there. I do like the orange on this kind of black and white or black and cream background. It's kind of like clockwork orange vibes, but for me, I'm going to put this one in the C tier. Do I even have to say that this is an S tier? Dark Side of the Moon is probably one of the coolest album arts ever designed. I've always liked this and I feel like it inspired a lot of album arts in the future with its simplicity and its cool shape. But to be able to design something this cool that's so simple without any text on it, it doesn't say Pink Floyd, it doesn't say Dark Side of the Mood, but everyone knows this album and everyone knows what it is. And I saw Mahilo, the guy who designed the covers for Little Yachty recently, tweet something like, I want to design an album that's as legendary as this and so simple. And I agree, man, this one's a, a classic and I'm definitely putting it in the S tier. So there we go, S tier for that one. Next up is the Nirvana baby. I might blur out part of this. I don't know if that's going to be allowed on YouTube or whatever. Compositionally and from like a recognizable standpoint, I'm trying to figure out how I'm kind of scaling this. If we're going just off design, if I didn't know anything about Nirvana or how kind of legendary this album was, I would probably rank it lower because it looks pretty bad Photoshop with the dollar. The text is kind of cool. This was pretty cool for the time and it is like an interesting concept like coming from the money ever since you're a baby, but I think it's a little overrated because of how legendary the actual music in this album was. But from an actual design standpoint, I'm gonna put it in the B tier. Next up, we have Cindy Lauper. Kinda looks like Papyrus, I'm not sure, but something similar to that. And if it is, I mean, it looks pretty dope. I do like that type up top. The picture's dope. Whoever did the photography on this one is really cool. And I really like the colors and I like how saturated everything is. I think it's pretty cool overall. I think for me, this one will be a B tier also. All right, Public Enemy, Fear of a Black Planet. Super cool, I feel like this was one of those times when kind of Photoshop and manipulation was in its early stages and kind of taking over and everything was, you know those like 3-6 Mafia album arts, everything's flames and fire and blinged out text. The text going edge to edge, I don't think it's conveying the the vibe that it would wrap around. So that kind of feels weird. Like they could have just brought it in. I do like how back then they just threw the parental advisory label kind of wherever, depending on their design. This type could be centered and these shapes are a little bit weird, but it's pretty cool. I think it's a cool concept. They're obviously taking from some tropes from like Planet of the Apes and uh, Star Wars and stuff. I think I'm gonna give it B tier. Elvis Presley, classic. I'm sure if you're seeing this for the first time, you're like, oh, that looks like the other one down there, London Calling by The Clash. And it's because they stole it since this one was the first one and the picture's cool. And doing that type like that way back then was pretty, I think, edgy at the time. And I like how they matched up the record label color with the type. For now, I'm gonna probably give it A tier, but that's probably gonna get S tier later on. 
I really love this album. I think that the layout is wild and, and it kind of coincides with the music of the time. And this is when the Beatles were kind of becoming this more like psychedelic band and like doing wild things. So I think it's only right to have this crazy collage album art and or the way they integrated the Beatles into the flower bed and stuff. I think it's really cool with the drum and everything. This one's for me is definitely probably going to be an A tier. Yeah, I think that for sure A tier. Whole live through this. This one's pretty cool. I've actually never seen this album art before. Looks like it'd probably be like an indie indie band or some kind of pop punk or like 90s grunge or even like a Deftones type thing. So if I'm wrong, I don't know, but it's pretty cool. It's a little basic. I think that it does convey a lot of emotion, but I don't really like the type and stuff here. I think that one's going to be a C tier for me. To Pimp a Butterfly, I think this one's really cool. And I think there's a lot of detail in it when you zoom in. I like, I think Kendrick always has really good album art. So I, I really love Good Kid, Mad City. I thought Damn was really cool. Put that one in the B tier. Blink-182, the uh, Enema, the State. This one's awesome, it's classic. I think the type on the patch on the nurses like thing is dope and I think it's just so recognizable. I think that if you can recognize it without any like type saying what the album is or like you would recognize this without the Blink-182 patch. And I think that has to weigh a lot into like how really good something is. And I just think this was cool. The way it shot the blue tones between the makeup and the glove and the tattoo, it kind of brings it all together. And you have some of the blue in the background. I really like this one. I'm going to put it in the A tier. Nas Illmatic. This one's kind of grown on me. If we were ranking albums just off the music, this is, I think, the best debut hip hop album of all time. When Nas dropped this for his first album, I can't believe someone could make such a good album at such a young age. But typography is pretty cool. I like, I think it went with the vibe of the that time when it came out and the giant parental advisory sticker and the double exposure is pretty dope. So hard not to be biased because if this we were going off just the album, this would be an automatic S tier. But from a design standpoint, I think I still do like it and it is legendary, so I'm gonna put it in the A tier. Automatic S tier, one of my favorite albums of all time. Love how they stole the Elvis Presley text. I really like the photo of this album, the colors. A lot of people, you know it's a more recognizable album and a, like a good, I guess, stealing or whatever of the Elvis one because most people probably recognize this album more than that Elvis one. And I've always really liked it, so we're putting it in the S tier. Santana, this one's wild. Uh, I think the type's crazy. I almost wish that this type was kind of stretched out bigger up top so we could really see all the intricacies and like maybe keep these cool designs but create some kind of border right here so we still have all this cool artwork but that type gets to shine it, it is a little bit crowded um honestly i'm gonna put it in the b tier the roots i think this one's super powerful the photo is obviously like captivating and it sends a strong message i think the typography is a little like it's almost like the worst version of like a blue note album though i think the type could use a lot of work i would almost rather it just be the photo i think it'd be a lot stronger the type isn't really tight enough to kind of add to it so for that reason i'm probably gonna put it in the c tier honestly judas priest british steel this one's awesome i mean i i, I don't necessarily love judas priest that much but the razor and the, I love this soft kind of airbrush looking style of photography and this one's dope. I think with the type two into the razor, I'm putting that one in the S tier. Joy Division Unknown Pleasures. I mean, just from its legendary status and recognizability, you have to put this in the S tier. Similar, like I said, to the Rolling Stones tongue or the Andy Warhol uh, Velvet Underground banana, like this, everyone's had this shirt, you know? I mean, and it's just a cool design and Peter Seville designed it putting that there. Duran Duran Rio. A lot of people like this aesthetic, this kind of new wave, like illustration aesthetic they were doing at the time, but it's honestly not one of my favorites. And I don't really like this drop D on this slab serif. The illustration's kind of cool, but it is a little weird. I'm going to put it in the C tier. I don't, this one's D tier, honestly. I never really liked this Drake album cover. And I don't know where this was in the list. I don't think this should be in the top 50 albums of all time or in the top 50 album covers. So whoever made that list, I don't know. Miles Davis, Bitches Brew. The type is dope. I really, I always really like the painting and it's a great album as well. Ah, this one's cool. I don't know if it's quite an S tier, but I really think it's strong and I like the style a lot. I'm going to put it in the a tier i think this one's really cool I, I like this rolling stones one i wish the type was a little bit more readable over here since it's red it would have been cool you know to maybe put it in the darker areas the sticky fingers and the rolling stones type but i like how they treated the image and i think this holds up today it looks pretty contemporary i think it's a strong b tier not quite an a tier david bowie has some good album arts but this image is so strong i almost wish it didn't have some of the type the photo is really powerful and i think it's instantly recognizable as well the type's a little 
little corny kind of OG Photoshop with the weird gradient thing. So that brings it down a little bit in my opinion, but overall, I think it's a good B tier. This Grace Jones one's dope. I haven't listened to too much Grace Jones music, but when I saw this album art, I really liked it. The way the pose is and the shape and the shininess and, and holding out the mic, the type is nice up top. I just think it's a crazy cool composition and I like how it's almost like a sculpture. I think this is an S tier for me. Pearl by Janis Joplin. I love Janis Joplin, but not too much of a fan of this one. It's a little bit boring. I think honestly it might be a D tier. Bruce Springsteen, this one is awesome. Like I said, this one will be so much better like some of the other ones without the type. It just kind of gets lost in there, but I think the image is super powerful. Not the biggest Springsteen fan. It's a little too American patriotic for me, but the album art's dope. I think it goes in the A tier. I love Aretha Franklin, but I really don't think this album art's too strong. The type's pretty cool, but I don't know. I think the image could be treated differently and maybe have chose like a different expression or something. Uh, I think C tier. I haven't listened to much Twigs at all, so I definitely don't have any bias based on the music, but this album's crazy. Can't really tell if it's a photo or a 3D render or some kind of filter or a mask or whatever but I really like the colors I like the simplicity a tier great album I love the sex pistols and I always really like this one but there is like from a typographic standpoint don't get me wrong it is a little little rocky but yeah I think it's still the colors are dope and it is pretty legendary so I think it still deserves an a tier ah uh, I think b tier you know obviously with all the controversy and stuff with kanye but we're basing this solely off the album art design so i think a tier because i really love the painting a or s tier and if you actually have the gatefold album of this it has a bunch of other cool paintings and stuff i think i'm putting it in the s tier actually the slits this one's super dope i really like the image i like the texture of the album the type is cool this really strong powerful image and awesome female band i think that one's a tier master of puppets i think this is an s tier I mean, Metallica always has some crazy album arts. They were doing super cool type treatments way back. I really like this, the style, the red and the cool, like I think it might be Euro style down here. That one's going S tier. Next up, we have the Joni Mitchell one. This one's pretty, I don't, honestly, I don't like this one too much. It's very kind of 90s weird double exposure. Put that one in the D tier. Madonna blue. I think this one's cool. I like how they'd use the image. I like the kind of cool black and white up front with that blue background peeking out. I like this one. I think this one's going to be a solid B tier. Johnny Cash. I think Johnny Cash has some cooler other album arts, honestly, but pretty cool how he made just a simple sans serif logo type like that in all caps, like a recognizable almost logo and brand. So there is some of that. And I do like the somberness of it. I think B tier. Beyonce. I mean, this one's pretty boring. Just the type in the middle, like that. I'm just, that one's going D tier. This one's cool. I like the, it's a nice photo. I think the background maybe could be a little bit lighter. I think it'd bring it maybe some more texture to it. I think that one for me is a C tier. No doubt. I really like this one, even though it's not like the best from a design peer, like objective standpoint. I think it's cool. It's really reminiscent of the time when they were just throwing stuff out there. And I mean, like this cool picture of Gwen Stefani and the type and everything. I really like when things are in little containers like that, too. Honestly, I think I might put this one in the A tier. I don't know. The same with this one. I don't know. I don't think this should have been in the top 50 albums or album cover design, if I'm being honest. So sorry if you like Nicki Minaj like that, but I don't like this type. And I think the concept's a little on the nose. That one's going to be D tier for me. Obviously amazing album. This was probably in the top 10 on the 50 albums from Rolling Stone. The type's cool. I think it's recognizable. It's legendary. I think this one's going in the A tier. This is actually the number one best album of all time, according to the Rolling Stones list. And they ranked 500 albums and it's honestly a good album I, I love the Tomla um, record label logo this what's going on type is super solid I, I love the way they shot Marvin Gaye here this is a good album art and an amazing album man I think it might be an S tier same with this one, Funkadelic Maggot Brain. This one's an S tier for sure. Love that the powerful image of the head coming out of the dirt, dope type, cool colors, for sure S tier. Whitney Houston, obviously it's super talented. The kind of like this, I almost feel like it'd be something that would be made nowadays. I like the gradient. I wish the type was a little bit more in the margins and not offset to the left like that. So for that, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit, but I think it's still a B tier. A lot of people like this one. I think the type is I don't know. It's kind of basic, but I do love this one. I think would be cooler without the text again, like the way it's shaped with the squareness of the 
jacket and the hair is really cool. I think the type could have been placed a little bit differently or changed up a bit, but overall it's pretty good. I think it still deserves a B tier at least. One, I don't know. I don't really like the type on this. It looks very, the colors and stuff are cool, but the type kind of, I don't like in the, I don't know, the recording thing seems kind of random. I think that's a C tier. All right, I mean, Taylor Swift, man, her fan base is, is really popular. I don't want to get dragged, but uh, I think it makes sense for the time why it was done this way, but I'm honestly not a big fan, so I'm putting that one in D tier. Ariana Grande, I love this photo. I think it's really cool, and the upside down adds some more dimension to it. I think it actually at least gives it some more uniqueness. And the colors are nice. I like how it's all one kind of tonal, but the she still comes out from the background. I think it's a solid B tier. Beach Boys Pet Sounds, all time classic. I love the Cooper Black type lockup right here. The photo is amazing. This is S tier album. S tier album cover art. Mm, this Joni Mitchell one, I do like the texture it has and kind of the mood it conveys, but the type I think could maybe be placed, it'd be cool if they placed it a little bit more down just to give it some more dimension, but I think it's pretty solid. I think it's a high, low B, high C. Stevie Wonder, amazing album, but I really don't like the type on this one at all. And like the photo gets kind of lost in there and the, I don't really know what they were going for too much. So it's not really, I'm not a fan of it. Purple Rain. I think this one would have been so much more cool if they just got the photo and extended it back out, brought that type down in the middle, locked it up nice. I don't think you need the weird wallpaper floral background on borders on the side, but I do like the type and the photo is super cool. So for that, just cause those borders, I'm probably gonna put it in the B tier. Bob Dylan blow on the tracks. This one's cool, but it's a little boring. I don't really like the photo treatment too much. I do like that type lockup and this little banner. I think C tier for that one. Lauren Hill, I really like this one, etching it into the desk. I think it's a cool concept and it's executed pretty good for the time. So I think that's an A tier. Let's get through the rest of these. I don't want this video to be like an hour long. This one always hasn't really been one of my favorites. I think the Beatles have a lot other stronger albums. So honestly, I don't know. That one might be a, just a B tier for me. I think Thriller is dope. I love this photo. I love the type. I think it's an all time classic and obviously recognizable. I think that one's going S tier. Rolling Stones. This one's pretty cool. The photos are wild. I think this is a kind of bad scan of it. I wish the type was a little bit different though. So for that reason, I think I'm gonna go B tier. This public enemy one's dope. I really like their logo and shot through the bars like this with the type on the side. I think this one's better than the fear of a black planet one as well. I think I want to go in an A tier also. Bob Dylan, this one's classic. I like the photo. The type's nice and locked up. I'm gonna go through a few of these and then we'll rank them after. I think for now, this one's probably gonna be a B tier. Kid A, great album. Radiohead's obviously super good, but I'm not the it's not the biggest fan. It reminds me of a weird like PlayStation 1 graphics. I don't really like this Bruce Springsteen one either. It's kind of boring. So this one will go B tier. Kid A, C, and Bruce Springsteen one might be D tier. Carol King, Tapestry. I like this type. I like the blurriness of the photo and the little cat. Pretty cool actually. That one I might go B tier. Love this album, 36 Chambers is a classic. The Wu-Tang logo already adds a bunch of points. Uh, mm, I think for this one, we'll go from the music, I think it's an A or S tier. Probably S, but I think it's a B tier to be fair. This D'Angelo one's pretty cool. I always really liked it. I think it was cool for the time that it came out. So I'm definitely throwing that one in the A tier. Beatles White Album. I think this was a cool concept. I like that they went with the risky execution and I remember one time when I was little, we found a puzzle that was this and we tried doing it and it was like 10,000 pieces and you know, it's just all white basically besides that text. I like that one though. I'm gonna put it in the A tier. Are you experienced? This one's probably going to be an A tier for me. I like the type. I like the container again. Uh, Miles Davis, kind of blue. This one's probably an A tier as well. Pretty contemporary for the time it came out and inspired a lot of other albums in the future. Lemonade. Like I think this one would be better without the type. Um, so Miles Davis, we're going to put A tier. Uh, a tier as well for the Jimi Hendrix one. And the Lemonade, we're going to put C tier. Amy Winehouse, classic. I really like this one. The type's cool. The photo's cool. I think that one's going to be an A tier. TV Wonder, Inner Visions. This one's a lot stronger than the other one. I like the style. It's still not one of my favorites, favorites though. So B tier. Rubber Soul, I think this one might be an A or this one's an S tier, honestly. I love the type. I like the way the heads are shaped and everything. Really cool. 
off the wall is dope too but i don't really like the ah, the shininess is kind of cool but the type's a little corny i think off the wall we're gonna go b tier dr dre's chronic could be executed a lot better so i think c tier another bob dylan one kind of boring honestly i'm gonna put it in the d tier talking heads one i really like this one i like the type i like the crazy red over their faces this one's probably gonna go s tier this is probably one of the better rolling stones albums in terms of the design as well as the music i like this one with the little cake and everything that one's gonna go a tier okay computer i like this one's wild this is really postmodernism, 90s grunge style stuff that one's cool low end theory one of my favorite albums i like the midnight marauder album art better too but this one is awesome i think low end theory is going s tier okay computer is going a tier this Prince one's pretty cool. I think I like the way they layered it and had him blurry up front. So I'm gonna go B tier. Paul Simon, I like the art here. I almost wish it was bigger. I think B tier as well. Ramones, A tier. I like the type, it's classic. The Bob Marley type lockup is really nice actually over there. I, li I like that a lot. And the photo's strong and I like how his eyes are looking to the lockup. It kind of leads you that way. That one's gonna be an A tier. The Outcast, Equimini. <clears throat> this one's crazy, but it is dope. And I think they went far out for this one. I think I'm gonna go A tier as well. The Young Thug one's cool. I don't really like the album that that much, but I really like the photo and the design. So I think for sure we're gonna go S tier. Jay-Z's Blueprint's a little, it's cool. It's a little boring, but I think it still deserves at least a C tier. Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust. I like this one a little bit more, a little bit less actually than the other one with his face. But I think it's still cool. I think C tier. Ooh. That was a lot of albums to rank, and I didn't think that there was going to be this many. I sh probably should have spent a little bit of less time on each one, but there you have it. There's the list. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about the rankings. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Peace.